We begin this hour with breaking news. Seattle protesters now inside Seattle City Hall. Some are calling on the mayor to resign. They are just stunning images to see. King 5's Ted Land is there for us live. Ted, what is going on? Well, a large crowd is still gathered inside City Hall, sitting on the steps there. They have a microphone and loudspeakers set up, and a series of speakers have gotten up and addressed the crowd. They just chanted, Our City Hall, Our City Hall. They've been in here um, for the, about the past hour, uh, filling every kind of nook and cranny in the, the main entrance here of the City Hall and on that, that stairway there. Many of the people here have been involved with the Black Lives Matter movement for years and very active the past week. Uh, talking at the various gatherings throughout the city and they marched here this evening after many of them were gathering up on Capitol Hill. Among the messages here is a continued call for Mayor Jenny Durkin to resign. We're seeing some signs calling for that. Uh, speakers getting up there talking about what they need to do next, how to organize, how to continue with this movement. This is a kind of uh, quiet gathering actually as the speakers get up there and, and just uh, hold a listening session really with a lot of people in there. It's been peaceful all evening as everyone has gathered there. We understand that it was a uh, city council member Shama Sawant who uh, was with the group. She addressed the crowd earlier and she's the one who let them into City Hall um, and uh, unlocked the doors so that uh, people could come in here. We, that's what we were seeing on social media as the crowd um, arrived this evening. We don't know how long they plan to stay or what the what the um, agenda is for later tonight, but there are a lot of people who have things they want to say to the crowd after several days of demonstrations and protests, and it's a chance for them to reflect on all that's happened and all that still needs to happen in the coming days. So we'll be hanging out here uh, watching to see what happens at City Hall as this group continues to gather, cheer, and chant. I'll send it back to you guys. So, Ted, there's been a lot of talk. We know that Shama Sawant wants to cut the uh, massive Seattle police budget, something like $400 million. She wants to uh, cut that budget. Uh, what is the gripe with the mayor, who is talking about cutting the overall budget because of the pandemic, but has not really committed to cutting, doing anything more than looking at the Seattle police budget? What is their gripe with Mayor Durkin? Well, that's an ongoing discussion involving the mayor and the city council about, you know, where do you draw that line? People in this group are calling for a 50 percent uh, defunding of the Seattle Police Department budget. But um, will it be that drastic or will they pull back to, you know, 5, 10 percent when it actually gets down to the work of hammering out the budget and deciding how much money uh, will go to the police department. So they're, they're keeping the pressure on the mayor here to see what happens next. Joyce? Were they also upset about her response or a lack of response to um, what happened with some of the protests? Are you hearing anything about that? Uh, we're not hearing any, you know, we just arrived on the scene within the last 30 minutes or so. So we've just had a, a few minutes to listen into some of the messaging. They, they were not directly addressing the mayor when we were inside listening, Joyce. Okay, well, as you get more information, we'll talk with you again uh, coming up later. Uh, thanks. What a, what a scene there. This looks like hundreds are behind you inside City Hall. All right, Ted, thank you.